Hello guys, my name is AJ and I'm back with another unboxing and today we have Drippin's debut album, Voyager. This is Drippin's debut. They are brand new from Woolum Entertainment, the same place you got Rocket Punch and Lovelies and Golden Child and Infinite. And I just want to say, Drippin, what a group name, <laughs> especially for a concept that is not Drippin. Um, it's very um, on the border of more of a cute or just kind of, I don't know. It's like a mature cute, but this debut does not disappoint. Uh, Nostalgia is great for a title. Overdrive also good. My personal favorite is Shine, and we just got announced that we're like getting a Shine music video, so I'm really excited for that. Shine has like a really interesting melody that reminds me of like old school boy bands. But we have two versions here. I think this is four photo cards um, out of like 70 or something. It's a crazy. I'm just looking to, um, you know, keep away pull and not really focus on collecting them too much right now because it's it's a lot it's a lot of photo cards and i'm not the 100 percent best at identifying members yet i do i do you know i know juno because he is an x1 and it was the main reason i just immediately li listened to this oh geez this is a f how wait how do this is a funky setup but this is how you open it photo cards popping out it's all sideways let's get these cards out and pull it out to the s oh geez these are like stuck to the page that's not good i think i pulled everything out and i'm knocking stuff over off screen because this album is to be open in such a weird way so for the luggage tag thing with the nice hollow on it we've got alex i know alex well because he he is the blondish hair where everybody else kind of has the same brown and we got juno it's got a little schmutz on the back of it which is funky Nothing you couldn't just kind of rub off, though. Actually, these are my two bias contenders. So that's not bad. And Donghyun, I believe, if I'm not pronouncing that awfully. So let's get into this weirdly concept that weirdly done photo book. It's like the long way. I can't even like flip through this this well. Actually, I could probably do it like this. This would be like the fast way to do it. But like some of the... <laughs> I'm going to have to do it this way because there's like no way I can do this and not miss something. So, this is the weirdest way I've had to go through a photo book. But they're both like long ways. But I think that they have a really, actually uniqueness to um, to their concept at the moment. Like visually, it's kind of just the um, a kind of standard, more mature version of like a cute or an innocent for a boy group, which a lot of boy groups aren't doing right now. A lot of boy groups are doing, you know, dark, Heavy dark or hype, I guess is a concept you could you could call it. And you know they do they do stand out, but I don't know if they stand out like I I believe that they're the one of the better selling Woolum groups off debut, which is great for them. I think they have great vocal color. Oh, I missed a few pages. Oh, it's just a lot of a lot more text and stuff. Their voices are easy to identify from one another. How do I? That? Yeah, something like that. And I don't know, I think if they keep with this, they can have kind of like a more of a uniqueness instead of going with that, like, I mean, I love hard-hitting hype songs, but they don't really need to do that. They can, you know, have their own concept and, and own it because they're doing something not a lot of other groups are doing right now. There's some Nuga groups that are doing it, but I mean, in terms of big company. All right, we're into album number two. These photo books might look large but it's because you because they're like long ways and they're covering both pages i don't know just doesn't seem like they're actually that big these cd plates are actually pretty nice again i'd really like to know what Wool woolen was thinking with like saying hey we're gonna have like a a kind of a mature but cute innocent boy group and call them drippin let's find all the goods in this one. Oh, something's flying out the top oh everything's on the one page in this one for luggage tag we have hyo I do like these because I like that it has, it's it's photo card sized. Yeah, it's exactly photo card sized, which is always nice to have another inclusion that's a photo card sized. It's got the hollow on it and it's got their name on it, which I think a name is great for debut albums. Oh, I got another Juno. That's awesome. Cause like, oh geez. Cause I love supporting my X1 boys. So getting two of his cards, I might actually seek a few more just to like, I don't know, complete a page. They have so many cards for this debut album. I think it's like over, I think it's like over 10 per member. And Minso, I believe, 
for this last one. I think a lot of the cards, though, are just like the same outfit in the same pose, just like turned. So they're not the most exciting photo cards if you're actually trying to complete a set. Oh, I like this concept better. Is this one? Oh, I was going to say, is some of these actually sideways? Yeah, I like this concept better. Very, it's very just, I don't know, laid back. It looks also comfortable. I always say in like, whoop, outfit concepts, that we really need just more comfortable clothes on, on idols, I think. I'm skipping the page here and there, but a lot of it is text. Not always, but a lot of it is text. Like these just look like, these just look naturally comfortable. This looks like something they would wear on your standard day. I'm always down for that. The photo books are kind of misleadingly small. It's just, it, it is a lot of photos though, and a lot of text, because they're going through a lot of probably thank yous and whatnot. I hope they keep like a similar size with the future albums, but this kind of packaging, I'm not 100% about. Oh, you get it. Oh, wait, you turn it that way for when you put it on a shelf. I hate long albums, but you can fit this on a, on like a short shelf really easily. So these are my pulls from Voyager, Drippin's debut album. Uh, give it a shot. Um, at least listen to the title. I'd say listen to Shine too, because Shine is very good, and we're also getting a music video for it soon. Um, looking forward to what they do in the future, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with another one of these.